Okay, this machine that we are sitting in front of was proclaimed by Thomas Edison as the eighth wonder of the world. Before the invention of the linotype in about 1890, all printed material was set by hand, one letter at a time. It was very time consuming and very laborious. Mr. Morgenthaler immigrated to the United States from Germany and he was a watchmaker. And he was approached by a bunch of businessmen to try to create something to set type mechanically. And this is the machine that he came up with. And they called it the line of type because it makes a whole line of type. Back behind the machine here is an electric pot that has molten type metal in it. As we type on our keyboard, similar to a modern day typewriter, but laid out in a different fashion, we are dropping out of this magazine brass matrixes, or mats for short, that look just like this. And they have a letter recessed down into them so that when we squirt the liquid type metal up against here, then it's going to create a raised surface. This is our assembler elevator here. We have our line of words here ready to cast. I'm going to raise it up. This first elevator grabs it. It's casting right now. Our slug is going to drop out here. This takes the letters that we just used, takes them back up, and puts them back down in the magazine again, ready for reuse. 